James Eugene Carey born January 17, 1962 is a Canadian and American actor and comedian. Known for his energetic slapstick performances, Carey first gained recognition in 1990, after landing a recurring role in the American sketch comedy television series In Living Color 1990-1994. He broke out as star in motion pictures with Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber all 1994. This was followed up with Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls, Batman Forever both 1995 and Liar Liar 1997. In the 2000s, he gained further notice for his portrayal of the Grinch in How the Grinch Stole Christmas and for the comedy Me, Myself and Irene both in 2000, as well as Bruce Almighty 2003, Lemonous Nickets A Series of Unfortunate Events 2004, Fun with Dick and Jane 2005, Yes Man, Horton Hears a Who, both 2008, and A Christmas Carol 2009. In the 2010s, Carrie appeared in the films Mr. Popper's Penguins 2011, The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, Kick-Ass 2 both 2013, Dumb and Dumber to 2014, and portrayed Leap Day William in the sitcom 30 Rock 2012. In 2020, he portrayed Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog and its 2022 sequel and Joe Biden in six episodes of Saturday Night Live in the lead-up to the 2020 United States presidential election. Although largely typecast as a comedic actor, Carey has had success in dramatic roles. His first dramatic success was for starring in the Emmy-nominated made-for-television film Doing Time on Maple Drive 1992. Carey gained attention for his leading roles in The Truman Show 1998 and Man on the Moon 1999, earning Golden Globe Awards for each film. He later starred in the psychological science fiction romantic drama film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind 2004. This performance is repeatedly lauded as one of the most important and seminal in Carey's career and for which he was nominated for both the BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role and another Golden Globe Award. He was also praised for his dramatic role of Jeff Picciolo in the Showtime tragic comedy series Kidding, for which he was nominated for another Golden Globe. The Guardian named him one of the best actors never to have received an Academy Award nomination. In 2006, Kerry received a Grammy Award nomination for Best Spoken Word Album for Children. In 2013, Kerry published his first book, a children's story titled How Roland Rolls, which was awarded a 2013 Gillette Burgess Children's Book Award. In 2020, Carey published his first novel, Memoirs and Misinformation, which he co-authored with Dana Vaughan. Carey was born in the Toronto suburb of Newmarket, Ontario, Canada, to Kathleen Nay Oram, a homemaker, and Percy Carey, a musician and accountant. He was raised a Roman Catholic and has three older siblings, John, Patricia, and Rita. His mother was of French, Irish, and Scottish descent, and his father was of French-Canadian ancestry the family's original surname was Care. At age 8 he began making faces before a mirror and discovered a talent for doing impressions. At age 10, Carey wrote a letter to Carol Burnett of The Carol Burnett Show pointing out that he was already a master of impressions and should be considered for a role on them show, he was overjoyed when he received a form letter reply. A fan of Monty Python whose TV show aired in the 1970s, in 2014 Carey appeared on Monty Python's Best Bits Mostly and recalled the effect on him of Ernest Scribbler played by Michael Palin, laughing himself to death in The Funniest Joke in the World sketch. Radio Times states, you will see why immediately, Palin's performance is uncannily Carey-esque. Carey spent his early years in the borough of Scarborough, Ontario, part of metropolitan Toronto, where he attended Blessed Trinity Catholic Elementary School in North York. His family later moved to Burlington, Ontario, where they would spend eight years, Jim attended Aldershot High School while there. Some time later, his family became homeless and lived together in a Volkswagen van while teenage Jim and his brother spent months living in a tent in Charles Daly Park on the Lake Ontario shore in Lincoln, Ontario. The family struggled financially, however, their situation started improving once his father found employment in the accounting department at the Titan Wheels Tire Factory in Scarborough. Furthermore, in return for living in the house across the street from the factory, the family primarily teenage sons Jim and John would work as janitors and security guards at the tire factory, doing 8-hour shifts from 6 p.m. into the next morning. 
Moving back to Scarborough, teenage Jim started attending Agincourt Collegiate Institute before dropping out of school on his 16th birthday. He began to perform comedy in downtown Toronto while continuing to work at the factory. In a 2007 Hamilton Spectator interview, Harry said, If my career in show business hadn't panned out I would probably be working today in Hamilton, Ontario, at the DeFesco Steel Mill. As a young man, he could see the steel mills across the Burlington Bay and often thought that was where the great jobs were. Harry suffers from depression and has taken Prozac to combat the symptoms. He has stated that he no longer takes medications or stimulants of any kind, including coffee. Harry received U.S. citizenship in October 2004 and remains a dual citizen of the United States and his native Canada. In 1983, Jim Carrey dated singer Linda Ronstadt for eight months. Carrey has been married twice. His first marriage was to former actress and comedy store waitress Melissa Womer, whom he married on March 28, 1987. Their daughter, Jane Erin Carey, was born September 6, 1987. Jane was a 2012 contestant on American Idol. Carey and Womer divorced in 1995. On September 23, 1996, Carey married his Dumb and Dumber co-star Lauren Holly. The marriage lasted less than a year. From 1999 to 2000, Carey was engaged to his me, myself, and Irene co-star Renee Zellweger. January. Jones was in a relationship with Carey in 2002. Carey met model and actress Jenny McCarthy in 2005 and made their relationship public in June 2006. In April 2010, the two ended their relationship. In October 2010, McCarthy said they remained good friends. Carey met Catherine A. White in 2012, a makeup artist from County Tipperary, Ireland. They dated between 2012 and 2015. On September 28, 2015, White was found dead from a prescription drug overdose. The death was ruled a suicide by the LA County Medical Examiner. Carrie was a pallbearer at her funeral in Capoite, County Tipperary, Ireland. Carrie attended the Golden Globes 2019 party with his new girlfriend Ginger Gonzaga in January 2019. The couple split after less than a year of dating. Carrie's ex-girlfriend Katharina White married Mark Burton in 2013. On September 19, 2016, Burton filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Carrie, claiming that he had used his immense wealth and celebrity status to illegally obtain and distribute prescription drugs involved in White's death. Carrie released a statement the following day, What a terrible shame. It would be easy for me to get in a back room with this man's lawyer and make this go away, but there are some moments in life when you have to stand up and defend your honor against the evil in this world. I will not tolerate this heartless attempt to exploit me or the woman I loved. Kat's troubles were born long before I met her and sadly her tragic end was beyond anyone's control. I really hope that someday soon people will stop trying to profit from this and let her rest in peace. In October 2016, White's mother, Bridget Sweetman, also filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Carey. In this suit, Sweetman's attorney states that Carey underwent a test for sexually transmitted infections, tested positive for hepatitis A, HSV, herpes, IN2, and chlamydia, and hid the results from White and had unprotected sex with her. Sweetman later issued a statement, these documents show that Jim Carey has lied to the media, the public, and the court. Carey has now been shown for what he is a dishonest Hollywood celebrity who thinks he can say anything and fool people just because he is famous. Both lawsuits were dismissed on January 25, 2018, and attorneys for both sides confirmed there would be no further legal proceedings. Which Jim Carey film was your favorite?